hello everyone welcome back to my channel this is your girl Shelly and today I'll be making some jerk seasoning these are some of the things that I'll be using for this jerk seasoning make sure to wash these vegetables slash spices properly before using okay guys I'm going to go ahead and place these on the cutting board and I'll tell you everything that I'll be using I'll be using some scallion white onion ginger scotch bonnet pepper thyme some garlic We'll be using a little browning, some cinnamon powder, some pimento, some vinegar, and some brown sugar. We're also going to be using a blender, so make sure you have your blender ready. Okay guys, we are about to chop our scallion and you do not have to chop them fancy because we'll be blending them. We're going to put these in the blender. Guys, I'm just going to cut the onion into 8 pieces. guys for the time we'll be cutting off the hard part that's the closest part to the roots so we'll be using these and we're going to discard these following the time is our scotch bonnet pepper you can go ahead and just remove the stem of the scotch bonnet pepper and just add them all to the blender or you can cut them and if you are a person who do not like your food too spicy you can cut the pepper and remove some of the seeds so you can just cut it and remove some of those because those are the things that make it extremely spicy Following our scotch bonnet pepper is our garlic and guys you can just go ahead and throw these in the blender just as they are now or you can cut them in two. Following the garlic is our ginger and guys I'm just going to cut each piece of ginger into two. Following the ginger, we'll be adding one teaspoon of cinnamon powder to our blender. Following the cinnamon powder, we'll be adding our pimento berries. Guys, this right here is what is going to give your jerk seasoning a nice jerk flavor. Following the pimento, we'll be adding our vinegar, and that's white vinegar. Following the vinegar, we'll be adding our brown sugar. Last but not least, we'll be adding a teaspoon of browning. Now we are just going to cover the blender and blend everything. Guys, we are going to add a little extra browning. We want the color of this jerk seasoning to have a brownish look. Because we have added the extra browning, we'll be blending this a second time. There are lots of other things we could add to this jerk sauce. We could add a pinch of salt or some powdered seasoning. We could add some cooking oil. 
we could add nutmeg but for me this sauce is good this is a simple but yet great jerk seasoning and guys if you do not want to use the vinegar you can substitute the vinegar for water for the storing of your jerk seasoning, if you're not going to use it right away, make sure to put it into a glass jar or a glass bottle because that way it will last longer and then you can just place the bottle inside the refrigerator. Guys, it's a pleasure sharing this recipe with you. So please remember to like this video, share, comment, and for those who haven't already subscribed, Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.